time to musk up. Back again today with a review from a fragrance from Chanel. It is in the Les O line, and that is Deauville. Somebody in the comments section mentioned this, and I said I would review it, and I actually had intentions of reviewing it, so I figured, why not? Let's do it. It is summertime, and, you know, this is the perfect time. Um, really enjoy this line. I know it's considered an eau de toilette. But I would classify some of these as more of an eau de cologne. And uh, some of the other ones I feel are stronger and would lean more towards an eau de toilette. The last two releases seem to be uh, a lot stronger. Uh, although these still do last. The only issue here is longevity. But I do love this line. And I'm not lying when I say that. And hold on. If I can even grab all these. All right. Here we go. So four. All right, I have five from the line. There's six total here. I like, look at those colors. Like, this, this, the colors here, these light colors just explain the mood and the kind of the tone of the fragrances really well. Uh, the only one I don't have is River, uh, Riviera. That one, I, I don't know. I, it felt a little bit. I don't know if it was if it was feminine leaning because I do have Venice, so I don't know, but. I just didn't get it. Uh, if there's any other ones you want me to talk about, I will. Paris, Paris, I've spoke about. Edinburgh, I've spoke about. Uh, Betty's, I spoke about. But today is Deauville's turn. Now, with all these Chanel's, you could probably call me a Chanel shill and I wouldn't be surprised. Although, I'm a horrible shill because they refuse to give me anything for free. But that's okay. As long as you make good products, I will buy it. <laughs> and... Uh, Deauville is one of them. Now, let's just spray it on because, well, a little perfect moist here. Right? And you can just pick how much you want to spray. Just perfect, right? And it feels like you're like you're showering in, in mist, right? Like when you go to an amusement park and it's really hot and they have these showers that are just letting out mist. Like that's what it feels like when you spray this on. It's just so refreshing. And, oh my God, just... As I say, Chanel just has some of the best citruses, like bar none. Like, I, I don't care. You name me some other brands, but Chanel citruses just sparkle. They don't smell like uh, products that you would use to clean your house. Uh, just outstanding. I guess, I don't know if they're using this uh, a little bit of aldehydes to give it lift, but they just, oh, just sing. I, I love it. And I don't know how to say it. It's like a melange of citruses. I'm stealing this from freaking Max Forte. I can't even believe I'm saying this. But it's just, there's a whole bunch of citruses here. Lemon, bergamot, grapefruit, orange. And I want to say the main ones that I get is maybe bergamot and um, lemon. Very zesty, just refreshing. Uh, love it. But there is very uh, a lot of green undertones here. I would say this is a very uh, citrusy, green, uh, aromatic fragrance. Uh, it says green notes. And I know people sometimes compare this to Cristal. And I can see that uh, definitely. But there's no oak moss here. So it's it leans more on the, on the light green side versus, versus the, the dark green, crunchy side. And besides those green notes, I get this, these grassy touches and then I get this basil aromatic, uh, aromatic basil. And the basil is the, is the best here. I love basil in general and food, but in here it's perfect. It, everything kind of is at a very low frequency here. Uh, like it, it just, it's not loud, which is why I really like this. It, it won't bother anybody. You can overspray this. Like I said, you're not going to announce your arrival here. Uh, this is just something that you wear for yourself. Unless they get very, somebody gets very close, they'll probably be able to smell it. But, oh man, the basil here. I know this definitely kind of has eau de cologne kind of touches. There's also some pedigree in here. And so it's definitely some some kind of orange vibes here that you would get besides the citruses, but like an orange flower. 
although there is no there's no orange blossom here but I, I do feel that pedigree kind of leans in that way uh, there's also some neroli and neroli also mixes with uh, usually mixes with pe uh, excuse me with orange blossom as well now in the base they say there's patchouli here I don't really get any patchouli uh, really um, maybe as far as some that adds to to the woodiness that I get here the green kind of touches here maybe a little resinous at times but the other thing I want to mention here I do get this kind of uh, I don't want to say cantaloupe but I get like this green cantaloupe uh, vibe here almost in the realm of like a Diorella and the other thing is here that's here is Hedion. And so Hedion is the note that Edmund Rudnitska used to use a lot, uh, things like in uh, Old Sauvage. And when I saw the Hedion, Old Sauvage started coming into mind. Although this is a lot smoother and lighter, I, I definitely see some similarities to Old Sauvage, the original, the EDT. Like I said, that one is a lot more aromatic, uh, oak moss, uh, sharper, richer, uh, while this one is just more citruses uh, with slight green touches and aromatics. And I also get like this hint of sweetness and I think that's what it's coming from. I, so I, I get this green cantaloupe and I think that's where the sweetness is coming from. And there's just like the just a smidge of sweetness here and it's perfect. It adds another kind of uh, facet here another fork in a road kind of to not make this just a basic uh, kind of citrus fragrance. Yeah, I mean, it's just so damn good. I mean, yeah, it's green cantaloupe and definitely get some like kind of uh, white floral touches here as well. And I'm guessing that's from the Hedion kind of green uh, white floral touches here from the Hedion. Just just blended to perfection. I mean, this stuff is just really well made. And at the price point, uh, I don't remember what the price point is now. I bought this before, you know, the world went to, you know what? And I don't know, I think inflation probably hit this line. And so maybe at this size, 125 ml, um, no, go get the size there in the back. So at 125 ml, I think this is ranging in the 140, 150, maybe 160. And I know it's a lighter fragrance, a citrus fragrance, but as I like to say, when it comes to citrus fragrances, this is some of the best in class, most enjoyable citruses that you can pay for uh, in this price range, right? And although it is on a little bit on the steep side, I do think um, it's still fair. And you can look online, Macari and stuff like that. People are always getting rid of uh, the 50 ml or the 125 ml bottles, and you can get it at a little bit of a cheaper price. But yeah, Deauville, just this heavy citrus, uh, green, aromatic uh, cologne fragrance with this interesting touch of green cantaloupe adding this uh, nice little sweetness uh, to this fragrance and yeah that is my review on Deauville let me know if you've tried it or any others from the line and let me know what you think take care guys bye and ladies it's the three percent I watch